No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Okay, so I'm here with Fred at the Black Magic booth, and we're going to be going over some really cool things in DaVinci Resolve 12, which is brand new this year. Absolutely, yes. Uh, first off, right off the bat, complete UI overhaul. Uh, we have brand new features where you can hide any tools that you need to hide. You can tuck away any part of the UI that you need to tuck. Uh, we have brand new smart bins. You can do filtering through metadata. So say if I had a great assistant that tagged everything for me and I need to be able to find everything immediately, I don't have to be logging and syncing. I can, be, I can add a smart bin. The smart bin allows me to just sift through metadata. So I can do, say I need all my morning shots. Bring in all my morning shots. It's automatically finding these. I can create a smart bin. Now I have all my morning shots just built right in. With the edit page, we've completely overhauled editing, so it's now a full nonlinear editing system. We have multicam built in. We have support for open effects, obviously, and other audio effects, AEU, isotope, all these guys. With multicam specifically, you can create a multicam clip, you can change frame rate, angle sync, you can sync by in, out, time code, sound, however you need to build it. We have a new multicam layout. So I can do four by four, three by three. I can have I can have separate pages. So if you have multiple, yep. you know, a ton of yeah, it can just keep going. going. You can right. just keep going. So it's not it's we're not trying to limit anybody. Right. And I'm just cutting I'm just cutting on the fly here. Uh, while while I'm doing multicam though, I can easily jump over and do a grade, and and I'm jumping back to editing. I'm not I'm not rendering anything. I'm not doing filters. I'm not doing effects. Uh, with with grading, we have a couple of new features. We've taken color wheels and primaries and bars. We've put them in one tool now, so it's not it's not separate tools over here now. We've actually moved the scopes over here in the corner now. It used to be this window that everybody's moving around. It's now locked into our UI down here where the keyframes are. We have a brand new 3D isolation. Before we had HSL, RGB, and Luma. This 3D isolation allows us to basically paint a path. Do some cleanup. Add an alpha. So it's a quick key. So we have some pretty bad spill going on here. We have one click despill. So that, that gets all my green out. Now these guys are, I obviously need to grade this so we can match this. But now we have a new one click shot match to this clip. So I can say I need my comp to match my plate. Resolve takes a pretty, wow. pretty good guess at doing a one-click action to be able to match these two together. That's really cool. Yeah. And then so also with these, I have some tracking markers here. We also have some rafter up here. With the 3D, with the 3D isolation, we also have a new 3D perspective tracker. So I'll just build a quick, quick window around these guys. So you're doing a lot of a lot of compositing stuff now that, that you weren't before. Just cut these guys out, get rid of my markers and my rafters. But before the tracker was more more or less 2D and it, and wouldn't really be able to pick up perspective. Now with these guys, they're going to be tilting. And go to the head of the clip. Tweak my mask a little bit. And with perspective 3D tracker on. This is actually going to tilt my mask in 3D perspective. And so uh, right here, I obviously have a little cutoff. I can just adjust this. I'm not, I'm not re-keyframing anything. I have some rafter up here. I can just take all this out. I'm doing massive tweaks on my mask after the fact. So now is it, this, is doing, this is doing tracking the whole thing in real time? Yep. Real time, no, no render at all. And I just like, my mask was completely not done well right off the bat. I just tweaked the mask. And I'm not, I'm not retracking, I'm not re-keyframing, I'm not doing anything like that. Uh, we also have, so say if I built this composition, let me go back to this guy. 
So if I then did like another node, we have a new feature where we can do a uh, compound node. So say if I built this as a shot, I can then create a new compound node and kind of break all those guys into one single node and then do a grade on top of that and treat it as right. so a can, comp. You can pull them together, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Some other new features that we have currently, we have a brand new media management tool. So I can, I can media manage my entire project. I can just do a timeline. I can do clips. I can copy move transcode. I can do the entire media. I can do media with handles, however you want. Uh, in the past, you would export just a project file and then say, your other editor didn't have a clip, then you're uploading clips. It's just constant back and forth. This builds a nice package for a great handoff. Also, awesome for archival. You can throw this on an LTO or you know, your backup. Get it, get it in the vault. And make sure that everything's safe. So this this pulls all the resources into yep. one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're not you're not doing uh, individual media management yourself. The, the uh, Resolve is doing that for you. We also in the deliver page, we've uh, re we've removed basic, intermediate, advanced. That is now just more options and less options. And also, with, with the deliver page, we have a brand new export to Avid Pro Tools, so we can send this cut off to mixing if we want somebody to properly mix. And with, and with mixing in the edit page, we have a new audio mixer. Yeah, so how does, how does uh, yeah, if you can show me how that, the audio actually. The audio has actually been completely overhauled in Resolve 12. So now I have an audio mixer built in. I can do touch and latch mixing on the fly. Do do real time keyframing with my audio. I can do, just do a mix as how I wanted to. It uh, with with effects, we are completely compatible with Isotope. Anybody else, we can be using our parameters, or we can be using their built in UI, like you would expect to be using in any NLE across the board. Uh, completely compatible with OFX. So if you have you know Boris Sapphire, you can bring all those plugins. Yep, in. you can bring all those into Resolve directly with OFX. See. Let me now, in terms of uh, video editing codecs, can you mix and match in the timeline? And yes. uh, absolutely. Right. So, also frame rate as well. Or will you have to set a project frame rate, and they have to match? It would be a, yeah, it would be a project frame rate. But but for example, to to answer that on a different level, if I was in multicam and I had mixed frame rates, and I make a multicam clip, I can dedicate a, whatever frame rate I want that multicam clip to. So if I had multiple sources. Right. Like I can, you had 60 I can, I can and you had 24. Yep. Yeah, I can unify them and bring them in as 24. The 60 would obviously look like it was slow-mo. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can bring them all in to, to match it, what do you need to be. That's great. Uh, let me see what else I can show you guys real fast. There's another really cool feature. We can now nest sequences. So say if I bring these three in, I can do a nest and that's cool. But what's really cool is now I can decompose in place. So if I'm grading a feature in reels, I can bring all of my reels in. Okay, so I'm here with Peter at the Black Magic booth, and we're going to go over some more Resolve stuff. So, Peter, tell me what you do at Black Magic. Um, hi, I'm the product manager at uh, for DaVinci Resolve. Uh, the R&D team is based in Singapore, and uh, we'd like to show a little about the new thing we have for version 12, which is Resolve Color Managed Timelines. Great. Uh, so traditionally on an edit session, you can end up with uh, clips from many different camera types that could have different color spaces, and they can be quite a handful to manage, particularly if you have to change LUTs often. It, that can be really quite a lot of work, and it really distracts you from the benefits of editing and grading. Right. So with a resolved color managed timeline, uh, as we have on selected here, um, I'm in DaVinci Color Managed. I can select the color space of every individual clip and change them from different color spaces like Blackmagic Film or Rec 709. And I can do that on a master level here or on an individual clip level where I can change the color space to different. So I can add in a Blackmagic camera or mix it with an Ari or, or a, a Sony camera or just a, a tape source. Once I set these sources here, it will convert all of those different color spaces into a common color space for your timeline. So all your clips will look naturally correct in the timeline. Right. So, in, so instead of having uh, some log footage here and some Rec. 709 here, this will actually do the math and figure out how to match those together. Yeah, that's correct. It does the genuine transforms. It's not just LUTs. It's genuine transforms. does all the math to get the right color space. And then you can set the output color space to go to your 709 monitor or P3 monitor or even a Rec. 2020 when they come around. Can you actually, could you actually view multiple color spaces at the same time in different windows? 
Uh, at the moment, we've designed to set up the timeline as a single color space. Uh, so that way, all of your grading controls, all your editing functions, all looks as a common color space. Uh, and really, you're trying to get those variations of the color space into one of the ahead of the time, so you're not spending time managing color spaces throughout the project. Oh, that's great. It's going to simplify the ed editor's lives and simplify creator's lives substantially, and you can become more creative instead of having to deal with the technical side. Right, and I think it's, uh, as was said before, I think it's important to point out that they're not actually LUTs. They're not LUTs, they're right. genuine mathematical transforms. So the quality is full range quality. That's great, thank you.